It's been said that the way you see the problem is the problem. Could it be that the realities that you have experienced and are experiencing is because of the way you perceive what you saw? I speak healing and clarity to your mind's sight. And I challenge you to a perspective check. Hi, everyone. This is Sandra Garçon Dejaville. I am so excited for the opportunity to build, educate, empower, and propel you to greater heights today. So today we are talking about love. All we need is love. So um, according to Good Therapy, love is a mix of emotions, behaviors, and beliefs associated with strong feelings of affection, protectiveness, warmth, and the respect of another person. Now, there's typically four types of love. And so I wanted to talk about those types of love. So the first one we're talking about is agape. Agape indicates a choice to serve God, a choice to love your neighbor, a choice to love and accept yourself, or a choice to accept others without having to have something back. So this particular love um, is doesn't require anything to be. It's just is. It's just freely given. It's freely. Um, it's given because it's within me to do. Um, and so, which is the greatest form of understanding God because scripture tells us God is love. And so here in 1 Corinthians chapter um, 13, 1 through 13, which is typically called the love chapter, talks about some of the definitions of love, that love is long suffering. So love is not always making you feel good about making you feel good. That's not an indication that love is happening just because there's uncomfortability. Is kind, is not jealous, is not boastful, is not arrogant, is not rude, is not selfish, is not resentful, does not think evil, rejoices in truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Now, we need Jesus to kind of, to operate in that kind of love because that is not the kind of love you wake up in the morning and you just have. That's the kind of love you develop. That's the kind of love you work towards because it does not have room for you just to see yourself only. This love is about the well-being of others, yourself as well. And when you learn how to love and respect people, you're automatically learning to love and respect yourself and giving yourself love and respect. And so we want to remember that. The other kind of love is philia, which is also, so all the words will be Greek words, uh, philia. And so that refers to esteem and affection reflected in loving concern in loving concerns for friends or what friends have for one another. So this particular love philia is dealing with the love a friend will have for another. And that word friend is such an incredible thing because I've, in my years of working with clients, pe I've seen people get into romantic relationships and never, um, even marriages and never develop friendship. And friendship really is a foundational thing. The, there are, when a person is a good friend to you or that cares for another person, by virtue that I call you my friend, there is this deep appreciation and respect and care that I have for you that hinders me from doing things that I know that's going to hurt you. We all imperfect, we all make mistakes, and from time to time we'll do and say things that hurt one another. But in philia and in friendship, it's saying, listen, because you're my friend, I have to be a little bit more mindful of what I say, how I talk to you and how I carry on around you, because I don't want to injure 
or breach that relationship because it is this bridge that you and I are able to walk on freely. And so when I establish friendship first, even in marriage, there's just some things I'm not going to do to you because you're my friend. And sometimes even when I think about you as my husband, that doesn't change me being um, mean or selfish sometimes. But when I really believe you to be a friend and see you as a friend, I am much more conscious of how I treat you. The other one is Eros. So this one is talking about appetite, self-centered love, including sexual desires and physical craving. We have far too much of that in the world. <laughs> far too much of that in the world and social media. Everything is about sex, about romance and all these different things. And so we want to be mindful that even that kind of love is not free. We just can't be passing out that type of love just to anyone and everyone either because all the people we allow to have this level of intimacy with, we bind ourselves in, into soul ties with them. And so the person can walk away and you still feel some form of connection to them. Even when it's unconscious to you, the moment you entangle yourself spiritually, sexually rather, you sort of marry that person. Because back in the days, that's how marriages are, that, that is how marriages are consummated, sex. And so we want to be mindful that we keep this particular love in its rightful place, the marriage bed. But, you know, not all of us are there yet, but strive for that. <laughs> um, and the last one is Storgi. Um, it loses to affection.